G'day. I want to talk today about the self-fulfilling prophecy of wellness in spas. I'm lucky enough to have a fairly international perspective on the world of hotels and spas, both through the role that I have and through the various people that I've known and connected with over the years on both sides of the table, the hotel side and the spa side. And I have to say that what I'm really starting to feel and sense at the moment is that there is almost a self-fulfilling prophecy that is willing wellness in the hotel spas. And what I mean by that is that I don't necessarily believe that it's market-led or demand-led, not necessarily in terms of our consumers at least, our guests. Not to say that people don't want wellness and well-being, I think we do, but in terms of a hotel spa offering, is that what we're necessarily looking for? I don't really believe that's the case. I think in terms of the demand, we are getting demand on the hotel side because the hotels want something new and different. They've seen that the current model doesn't necessarily work at last. Um, They want something different. They want something bright and shiny, and that shiny new thing right now is wellness because we're kind of willing it to be so. My cautionary tale, I guess, is that I'm not sure that that's going to resolve the issues long term. I think it is the bright, shiny new thing for now, and I think it will get all the attention for the next few years. I don't necessarily think it is the answer for all hotel spas by any stretch. At the luxury end, sure, totally accept it. But at the mid-market level, which is, let's face it, where the bulk of hotel spas are, I actually don't believe that is going to be the answer long term. Short term, yes. Long term, don't think so. Now, I've written about all this stuff, spoken about it a lot. There's a few little ebooks on my website, which are free, trentmonday.com. I'll put a link to that in the comments below, where I've talked about the spa of tomorrow. I've talked about uh, hotel spas and the wellness journey and the organizational face of wellness. All of those things around this concept of what the hotel spa could, should, and may potentially be. But again, I think if you're in this business for the next few years, you're going to have to get on board the wellness train as far as your hotel spa is concerned, because I do think that's where we are willing it to go. I think there's still a massive opportunity in the other stuff, and that's kind of the spa of tomorrow conversation that I've had a few times uh, in that ebook as well. So I guess you've got to really ask yourself is, is Are you willing to try and go and change the market or are you going to go where the market seems to be going? And I think right now where the market seems to be going, where we're willing the market, is wellness in hotels. Again, I think it's going to be relatively short-lived in terms of its success, but it's the bright, shiny new thing that hotels are going to look for. So I think you're going to have to get on board that. But please dabble and have a look and have a think about some of the other stuff that I've spoken about, particularly in the, uh, the hotel spa of tomorrow. Alrighty, link to the ebooks in the comments below. Let me know what you think. I'm sure some people are going to have some fairly strong views on this one. I do thank you for your time, and I will be back again tomorrow. See ya. Your future lies within my eyes.